Phoenix from Phoenix Rise and Tarot. Here to do another weekend energy update for the sign of Aquarius. Just keep in mind these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Aquarius. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming through for you guys this week. Spirit messages for my Aquariuses. Messages for my Aquariuses. Messages for my Aquariuses. Alright, so you're in your thoughts. You're having some thoughts about luck, about not having enough, about not getting what it is you want. But Spirit is saying to think about things differently, more maturely. Decide exactly what it is you want. And the universe will give it to you in a wonderful gifted package that is going to give you sudden wealth, sudden luck, sudden happiness. Everything is going to come towards you very quickly once you fully decide what it is you want. All right, so let's jump into the tower and see exactly what it is you guys are wanting to manifest that you are back and forth about, that you're in a little stress and anxiety about something that you think is not going to come forward for you spirit is saying yes it is so let's see what it is spirit aquariuses messages for my aquariuses all right so you're in the queen of swords energy you're cutting out what no longer serves you. You're using your head over your heart and making decisions. You are communicating clearly what it is you want for your life and for whatever situation you find yourself in here. <clears throat> All right, so at this point in time, you're single, you're taking care of yourself, you're being independent. But sometimes you feel lonely. And you have been looking at someone from a distance, probably on social media, trying to find out information about a specific person. Because secretly you have been putting work into this. You have been putting a lot of energy into finding out about this person and finding out if they are in a relationship and trying to move towards this person very secretively. But the truth is you have deep emotional feelings for this person. There is a lot of deep emotions here that probably happened to you suddenly. You had a realization and the realization is that you are attracted to someone or you have deeper feelings than you initially thought for this person. Now you're in this Queen of Swords energy pretending that you don't feel this for this person. You're in this energy where you're cutting out what no longer serves you. You're trying to communicate clearly what it is you want. Because you know you're not ready to give up on this person yet. You're not ready to give up on the fact that you will have the relationship that you want with a specific person that you have in mind. But right now, this person could be an Aries. You don't see this person coming towards you. They're not taking any action towards you. They're not taking a risk with you. They're not... They're literally... The person that you have in mind, they're not doing anything at this point in time. Now you are procrastinating on this for some time, but you're finally letting it go because you know that you cannot force anyone to do something that they don't want to do. 
but you're still in hopes of this person coming towards you. So you're, you're no longer defensive, you're no longer trying to force this to happen. But you're doubting if it ever will. You're doubting if this person will ever come towards you. You're doubting if this person will ever give you that commitment and that long term that you want. You're, you're wondering if this person is going to ever be your person. Could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag you're connecting to. But you find this person to be very handsome or beautiful. Someone that is very charismatic, outgoing. Someone that lives their life one step at a time. They, they, they live their, their life like a fast and furious. Everything is always upbeat. Their energy is upbeat. Their personality is upbeat. But you're at a crossroad. In your mind, you're back and forth as to if you really want this person or not. But you do know that they make you happy. You see long term with them, but you don't know how they feel about you. You're not sure if they want commitment. You're not sure if you want commitment from them. But you know you want to be with them. Because there is a sexual attraction between the two of you. There is a pull towards this person that you have never felt before. Could be a Gemini for some of you. But this relationship is spiritually guided. But commitment seems to be the issue here, either on your end or on their end. But someone is trying to find the courage to make a decision. Could be a Leo some of you are connecting to. You're afraid of your heart being broken. That is one of the things I must say, Aquarius. You, you know this person makes you happy. But there seems to be a lack of blockage between the both of you. But you're constantly pulled together. It's like you're constantly pulled to this person and this person is constantly pulled towards you. Yeah. But although they are your happiness, there is something that is causing this union not to happen. It's either on your end or on their end, but somebody needs to decide something. Okay, so you or this person, somebody walked away from this relationship before. Somebody left the other one out in the cold. Yeah, could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn you're connecting to. For some of you, you could have been married to this person or was in a long-term relationship with them. And you were unhappy for a long time or they were unhappy for a while. Yeah. There was a lot of lies and deceit and deception from this person. Could be a Taurus you're connecting to. But it is someone from your past. Ouch. Okay. Wow. Okay. So, you miss this person sometimes. You're nostalgic about this connection. Could be a Leo for some of you. You know there is a lot about this connection and this person you don't know. But you're hoping to find the clarity that you're looking for. You're hoping that this person gives you the clarity that you want. Yeah, because you see them as your wish fulfillment. Or they see you this way. If the roles are reversed, reverse it. But I think Aquarius, this is your person trying to tell you that they miss you. That they want a new beginning with you. <coughs> that they are lonely without you. Yeah, something happened that was sudden. This breakup was unexpected. It was sudden. It was like out of the blues. Because this person may have been going through a spiritual awakening or they may have been connecting with a Virgo. But someone is ready to open up now because they feel stuck. They feel stuck in the sense that they don't want anyone else but you. 
Now, they're still in this player energy where they want to rush in, give you passion, and try to hopefully turn it into a relationship. It's up to you if you're willing to accept that. But this person has a type of in and out energy, a player energy. They flirt a lot, maybe, for some of you. But you do care for this person. For, like I said, some of you probably will marry to this person. A Taurus will go a Capricorn. But now this person is back showing you all this attention and affection. But you're not sure if you want to do this again. So you're holding back on this person and on this connection because they hurt you before. This is one of those situations where they handed you your heart in your hand. Now they are coming back around and trying to be fair and just towards you. Trying to communicate. Trying to start something new and fresh. Wow. Okay. But they want you. They want you. But somebody is holding back and pulling back. I'm not sure if it's your Aquarius or if it's the person you're dealing with, but somebody is holding back. The most likely outcome for the situation, Spirit. Alright, so communication between you and this person is definitely going to open up. But there is something that you need to cut out from your life, something that is not serving you. You you need to decide what it is in your life that is <laughs> holding you back. There is something holding you back. You have to have a realization first about being deceiving, something you're hiding, something they may be hiding, but it is causing a blockage between the both of you. But there is a tower that is coming either on your end or on this person's end about them, something they're hiding, something they're being deceitful about. And this is what is stopping them from actually coming towards you or you going towards them. But I do see abundance happening because this person is definitely sexually attracted to you. They want to be vulnerable with you. They want to have a relationship and a commitment with you. They want to romance you because they know you are one of a kind. Alright, so this is what I have for you guys. I hope it does help. Have a good one.